Hey guys, Everyday Aficionados here, Miguel, Sean, and today we've got another liqueur review for you. Today we are looking at Luxardo Maraschino Original. So this is Luxardo's version of the really popular cherry liqueur known as Maraschino. It's made from Maraska cherries, which are grown in Croatia. And the invention of this dates back to 1821 when it was invented in the city of Zadar. It's actually got a pretty vibrant history with a lot of different brands coming up with their own versions of it. It was a lot more popular back in the pre-prohibition era. It's a featured ingredient in a lot of pre-prohibition cocktails. So yeah, let's get into it. So for the branding here, we've got this really awesome Mediterranean looking bottle. We've got like the straw label with this off-white paper over it. And of course you have like the green, white, and red coloring symbolifies Italy. Really awesome looking bottle. I really enjoy this one. And of course we've got the ABV here, 32%. I love this bottle too. It's a really great throwback. The straw label just feels so cool and Mediterranean. It also helps to keep out light, prevents the liqueur from spoiling. Oh, and another little feature, it has a really nice pouring top, which prevents any spills from going down the side of the bottle. It makes pouring really easy easy and mess and hassle free. So I have to give them props for that. Luxardo always does a great job with their branding and this is no different. Just a reminder, we're having this over ice. That's just the way we prefer maraschino. You can drink at room temperature as well, it's fine, but I give the edge to the iced version. It brings out the sweetness a lot more. Mm -hmm. I agree. So for the aroma, it has a very peculiar scent. It smells like some kind of exotic fruit, but it's impossible to pin it down. Yeah, I mean, it kind of has like the hint of cherries, but it's not quite completely like cherry. There's definitely a strong sweet and sour interplay going on here. I would even say that it has a bit of a woody character to it. But yeah, I think exotic fruit is really a perfect way to describe the way it smells. It's very perfumey, very aromatic. Yeah, it does smell like a perfume. I think it's a little floral. I guess it smells a bit like rose hips maybe, chrysanthemum. Like you said, the slightest hint of black cherry, but if you just put this in front of me and ask me what it smelled like, I wouldn't say it was a cherry drink. Maybe hints of like strawberry. Yeah, that's a good one. Almost like strawberries that are covered in like syrup. Mm -hmm. Like strawberry preserve. Strawberry preserve, there you go. I definitely do get just a hint of that alcohol, but it doesn't smell very alcohol. I mean, it's so perfumey that it's hard to really smell that alcohol in there. This is definitely an enticing and very unique smelling liqueur. Cheers. Cheers. Right up front, you just get hit with that huge burst of exotic, fruity sweetness. Yeah, there's a little bit of sourness on the back end, but really that fruity sweetness is so full-bodied. I would even say that there's just a kiss of like bitterness towards the back end. The alcohol gives it a nice warming. But man, it is so hard to pinpoint what that taste is. It resembles cherry, but it just doesn't completely feel like cherry. To me, it kind of has a little bit of that that maraschino cherry flavor, but not quite like eating the cherry itself, just the juice from the jar. I'm almost getting like a really, really ripe kiwi coming out of this. I could see that. I definitely would say that there's like a strong woody, almost oaky character to this one. I don't know if it was aged in barrels at all at any point. It's weird. It's almost like it tastes like the way sandalwood smells. It's got that soft, peppery taste. And I am definitely getting some cantaloupe from this one. Like a really, really ripe, sweet cantaloupe. Yeah, it's almost like cantaloupe that's pickled in syrup or something. I mean, you can draw a lot of parallels to fruit syrup with this. It's actually interesting. One of the recommended uses of maraschino is as a garnish on fruit salad. I think this would definitely go perfect on like a fruit salad. That would be delicious. All these different fruity flavors that you get from this really combine to make it its own unique flavor. I mean, there's really no other way to describe this besides just saying that it tastes like maraschino. It's definitely one of those drinks that you can't understand unless you've tried it. It just has such an exotic palette of flavors. It definitely feels Mediterranean or Eastern. Also for the body, I would say even though I've compared it to a kind of fruit syrup, it's not that syrupy, especially after being diluted with the ice. And the sweetness to me is like the perfect balance. It's not 
overly sweet and cloying, but it is appropriately sweet for a fruit liqueur. I think what offsets it for me and makes it really perfect is that peppery quality to the taste that prevents it from being all sweet. Yeah, you're definitely right. It is very sweet, but it is balanced out really nicely. I get that woody character and that bitterness, and it really keeps that sweetness in check, and it adds another layer of flavor and complexity. It's really nice. Yeah, it really is in a whole other league compared to other cherry liqueurs. If you think of, like, cherry flavors in fruit liqueurs on a spectrum, on the one end, you would have liqueurs that taste like cherry Kool-Aid, basically, and all the way on the other end, you'd have maraschino. This tastes so authentic Mm -hmm. and so natural. It's just amazing to imagine that this profile is coming out of cherries. Yeah. It has a flavor that is entirely its own. So, as you can see here, we have two empty glasses, which means unanimous recommendations from the Everyday Aficionados. This is just one of those drinks that stands above and beyond anything else in its category. It does things that you wouldn't expect a cherry-flavored drink to do. It's also incredibly delicious. The perfuminess of the smell is so enticing. That soft, peppery quality to the taste, that exotic fruit flavor, it all blends together to create an experience that is unlike any other fruit liqueur out there. This is an absolute 5 out of 5 a must try and a must have. It's one of the mainstays in my library and it is easily one of my top favorite fruit liqueurs. I pretty much just have to echo what you said. This is also one of my favorite fruit liqueurs. It's one of the best fruit liqueurs I've ever had. You mentioned how it goes above and beyond just being a cherry liqueur and that's part of the reason why I have to give this one a 5 out of 5 as well. It'd be really easy to just take a cherry liqueur and make it taste completely like cherries and be really sweet and palatable and good. Like you said, this goes above and beyond. It's really complex. It tastes so unique. You're never going to be able to get anything else out there in the world that has a flavor to compare to this. So, I mean, the only way for you to even get a glimpse of what this tastes like is to try it. It has such an exotic, fruity flavor. Really sweet, but really balanced out. Really an enjoyable experience to drink. Like I said, it's one of my favorite fruit liqueurs. It's one of my favorite liqueurs. I don't go out and buy very many liqueurs, but I had to go out and buy a bottle of this stuff, so it's definitely worth a try. And I definitely say if you do pick some up, try it iced. Being on the rocks really brings out that exotic fruity flavor. It's much more enjoyable that way. Yeah, I totally agree. Having it on ice is the only way I'll drink it, so I definitely recommend it too. So what about you guys? Have you tried Maraschino? And if so, what do you think about it? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe. And remember, whether it's liqueurs, movies, games, or beer, if you're looking for reviews, you can find them right here. That's the Everyday Aficionado, signing off. She's my cherry pie. Should I do that? Should I do like a music video type thing? Okay, you sing and I'll play on the maraschino bottle like this guitar. <laughs> Alright, I have to look up the lyrics though. I think it's, she's my cherry pie, tastes so good, make a grown man cry. Yes, yep, you're right, okay. Hold on, I'm going to use the bottle as a microphone too.